jagratjosh.com brings for its readers the current affairs bulletin for the period 16 january to 19 january 2016 that will be of immense help in their preparations current affairs headlines prime minister narendra modi launched startup india initiative gwenter butchek appointed as ceo and md of tata motors goa legislative assembly approved reclassification of coconut tree as palm Taiwan elected Tsai Ing-wen as first female president. Anuradha Roy won 2016 DSC prize for South Asian literature. Ronnie O'Sullivan won 6th snooker masters title. India and Japan conducted joint coast guard exercise Sahyog Kaijin 2016. World Bank released World Development Report 2016 Digital Dividends. Current affairs in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched Startup India initiative. Prime Minister also unveiled Startup India, Startup India action plan. It contains financial policy and regulatory measures to augment startup ecosystem. Proposes 10000 crore rupees corpus fund for innovation driven enterprises. Proposes Atal Innovation Mission to strengthen incubation facilities for startups. Profits of startup units will be made tax free for 3 years. Gwenter Butchek appointed as CEO and MD of Tata Motors. Gwenter Butchek will join the company by 15 February 2016. He will lead all operations of Tata Motors in India and in international markets. The post was vacant since death of Carl Slim on 26 January 2014. Prior to this, he served as Chief Operating Officer at Airbus. Jaguar Land Rover will continue to be managed by its CEO Ralph Speth. Goa Legislative Assembly approved reclassification of coconut tree as palm. For this, Assembly passed Goa Preservation of Trees Amendment Bill 2016. The bill omitted section 1A of the Goa Daman and Dew Preservation of Trees Act 1984. Section 1A included coconut under the definition of tree. This section was inserted through an amendment in 2008. Taiwan elected Tsai Ing-wen as first female president. Win is the biggest mandate ever won by any Democratic Progressive Party president. She emerged victorious with 56% of the total vote share. She defeated Eric Chu of the ruling Kuomintang party. It is the second ever victory for the DPP since Taiwan split with China in 1949. Anuradha Roy won 2016 DSC prize for South Asian literature. She received the prize at the Gale Literary Festival in Sri Lanka. She was awarded for her novel Sleeping on Jupiter. She received the prize from Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe. Her first novel, An Atlas of Impossible Longing, was translated into 15 languages. The prize is awarded annually to writers writing about South Asia. Ronnie O'Sullivan won 6th Snooker Masters title. He defeated Barry Hawkins 10-1 in the final. He previously won the event in 1995, 2005, 2007, 2009 and 2014. For Ronnie, it was his 6th snooker masters title. With this, he equaled the record set by Stephen Hendry. India and Japan conducted joint coast guard exercise Sahyog Kaijin 2016. India's Samudra Pehredar and Japan's Echigo participated in the exercise. It was the 15th joint exercise between the nations. It was held under memorandum on cooperation signed between India and Japan in 2006. It also involved Indian coast guard ships like Rajkamal, Vishwast and Raj Tarang among others. World Bank released World Development Report 2016 Digital Dividends 
It was titled WDR 2016 Digital Dividends. It explored impact of communication technologies on economic development. It suggested that digital development strategies need to be broader than ICT strategies. India's Aadhaar scheme saved 1 billion US dollars by bringing down corruption. For more on current affairs log on to jagranjosh.com